scientists identified the main source that could trigger volcanic activity in Iceland about 56 kilometers south of the country's capital Reykjavik. While there is no risk of a global catastrophe, researchers are now warning that new scientific evidence suggests eruptions originating on the Reykjanes Peninsula could continue for years or even decades. Prolonged volcanic activity could cause more disruption and potentially force long-term evacuations in Grindavik, a fishing town of more than 3,000 residents that is also the gateway to Iceland's biggest tourist attraction, the Blue Lagoon Geothermal Pool. I think we should be prepared to let go of Grindavik, said Valentin Troll, a professor in the Department of Earth Sciences at Uppsala University in Sweden. The city can still survive as a fishing port, with many people coming in and out. However, for the people who live there, with the possibility of very rapid volcanic activity, I don't think it is recommended. What we think right now is that eruptions will likely continue as we've seen over the last three years, and our results support that. To be able to predict whether the eruption will continue and what future volcanic activity will look like, Troll and his fellow researchers took a new approach by bringing together two different branches of science that reveal the main source of magma or molten rock, which becomes fuel underground. Activities on the Reykjanes Peninsula Hugh Tuffin, a reader in volcanology at Lancaster University in England who was not involved in the report, said the research provided strong evidence about the frequency of eruptions in the years to come. The study provides a useful synthesis of evidence from the history of eruptions on the Reykjanes Peninsula, the chemistry of erupted lava, and the depth and nature of earthquakes, he said. All evidence points to the formation of a single magma reservoir beneath the Fagradalsfjell volcano, and this reservoir could then trigger eruptions at various positions on the Reykjanes Peninsula, depending on pressure shifts in the Earth's crust. Many volcanoes are actively erupting or showing signs of turmoil because the island is on the border of tectonic plates, Troll explained, causing cracks. Allows magma to emerge. The Reykjanes Peninsula sits right on this plate boundary, and it appears that we are now witnessing the earliest part of a major eruptive episode. Scientifically, we are lucky to be able to observe this, but from a societal perspective we are less fortunate, because this happens in an area of the country that is densely populated and has a lot of infrastructure. There is currently a large barrier system around Grindavik to protect the city, with lava breaking through it in many places. A power station is also located in the region, and supplies electricity to Kaflavik International Airport, the country's main airfield located at the tip of the peninsula. If power generation is affected, we may experience energy shortages at Kaflavik Airport in the long term. This could then have an impact on international travel. However, the likelihood of an event like Eyjafjallajökull is rather small, as the situation on the Reykjanes Peninsula is characterized by shallow lava fields, and eruptions in the last three years have not approached the level of Eyjafjallajökull. 